State and the city leaders are working to address dwindling water resources and aging infrastructure across Texas. The Texas Water Development Board has traveled to Lubbock to ask for the public's input on the new Texas Water Fund. As KCBD News Channel 11's Madeline Hall reports, it's something leaders say is vital to the state's future. The future of Texas relies on water. That's the message from Lubbock and state leaders as they seek public input on how to use the Texas Water Fund. We have 13 to 1,500 people moving to Texas every day, and a lot of them are coming to Lubbock, Texas. And we have to make water one of the number one issues, if not the number one issue moving forward, because it's your number one resource. The Texas Water Fund was created through legislation authored by Lubbock State Senator Charles Perry. It's a billion dollar investment to address water needs in part by bringing new sources to the state. For decades, and not wrong, but for decades the conversation of supply was take it from one area and move it to another. And that's really net neutral as far as overall supply growth, right? We didn't change how much water we had in the system by moving it from one place to the other. A new water supply could come from deals with other states as well as purified salt water from the Gulf or the safe recycling of water used in the oil field. Lubbock Mayor Trey Payne says that the planned Lake 7 will act as a new source for Lubbock specifically. That's the importance of Lake 7 is that affluent water and that surface water will be able to be captured and put into another source where we can hold it and then have it for future needs. The water fund also sets aside state money to bolster aging infrastructure like pipe systems and pump stations. The Texas Water Development Board will provide that funding through existing state financial assistance programs. Lubbock and state leaders agree addressing the issue is vital for sustained economic growth. You can't tell a future company coming to Texas that we have our water needs met. You don't have economic growth. They need to know, especially the manufacturing industries that we're targeting and going after, they have a lot of water need. So it's a, it is an economic driver but it's an economic sustainer and it also is an economic requirement. Madeline Hall, KCBD, News Channel 11. The Water Development Board will meet again tomorrow morning at Citizens Tower. It will consider approving financial assistance for water, wastewater, and flood projects and hear more public comments. That starts at nine o'clock.